We could all use another workbench, right? But not all of us have the space for it. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a French cleat mounted folding workbench. And we're gonna do it for not a lot of money. I'm Bob and this is the CyberBob City Workshop. Let's get started. So here's what we'll be using for this project. I'm using an Ikea Linman tabletop. At only $20, it's low cost and looks great, but it's definitely gonna start turning ugly fast if you bang away on it. It's mostly hollow inside, but I bought one to try out for this purpose and it works well for what I use it for. This one's a little over 39 inches wide by 23 inches deep. You could really use anything like this, like plywood or butcher block. I was just going for something that was inexpensive, looked great, and would assist me in doing assembly, fastening, glue ups of smaller projects. We then have some folding brackets. Now these are the Performax brand from uh, Menards. Uh, they're 16 inches long. Um, there's a bunch of these on Amazon. I really like these because they're super sturdy. Um, they're rated for 750 pounds a pair. So this is what I want with $30 for the pair. Next are the pieces that attach the folding brackets to the French cleat. Now I used a two by three that I cut down on the, my first version, I actually used a full 2x3, but it made the tabletop stick out pretty far from the wall. So these I cut down, and then a friend of mine on his bandsaw cut out the cleat, some spacing for my cleat lock, and another notch so it doesn't interfere with the cleat below it. You could really make this out of plywood, just a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood, attach a cleat and a spacer, but since these are so thin, I figured using one single piece of lumber might be stronger. And you can see I already made a few holes here for my initial test of this. And finally, you need some one quarter inch by one inch screws. They'll screw the folding brackets into the French cleat brackets and also the uh, folding brackets into the tabletop. And I'm also gonna add some one quarter inch washers as well. Okay, so let's get to building this thing. Now I've already made my marks of where I want to pre-drill my holes. They're a little higher where I initially uh, screwed into. So we're gonna use my drill press and pre-drill these so that they don't uh, split when we screw into them. So now we'll screw the folding brackets into the French cleat brackets. I do want to mention as well that it's important that your bracket not sit flush with the top of the folding bracket because when you want to close this you have to lift up on the top a little bit and if your top is flush with this it doesn't have enough room to angle down and you won't be able to close it. Ask me how I know. So one thing to note about these Ikea Linman tops is that it's mostly hollow in the center and there's probably four or five inches of more solid material on the edge so you really want to have these brackets closer to the edge. I'm going to go an inch. And it's really important, again, that this is square, or when you start to try to close it, it's going to bind up on you. Then, I don't want my tabletop rubbing against the back of the wall, so I'm going to use my speed square and just make it flush with the edge of the speed square, so I have about a speed square distance between my tabletop and my wall. Now I'm going to mark my holes and then pre-drill them. Then we'll screw it in. Check for square, looks pretty good. Okay, I got both of these installed. Let's try to test fit this thing. I'm now going to add in my French cleat lock so that when I pull up on the table to expand it, it doesn't take off the whole tabletop off the wall. There. 
There we go. So that's it for me today. Hopefully you saw something here that you can find useful. Getting a little more workbench space without taking up workshop space. If you like this, please leave me a comment and thanks for watching.